Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Kung Fu Boys, released in the year 2016. Lin Kui Nan is a six-year-old troublemaker who dreams of becoming a superhero one day. He grew up in America with his parents who are tired of his shenanigans. Because there are no bad guys to fight in day-to-day -day life, Lin has settled upon troubling his teachers and housemates to prove his abilities as a superhero. He has been kicked out of several schools for displays of violence. One day, his current school principal comes to his parents with a broken tooth and Lin's transfer letter. He begs the couple to take their son to some other educational institution because the teachers in his school cannot handle him. Having had enough of the kid, his parents decide to send him back to China to live with his uncle, Yuan Lai. Lai is a young music teacher at a school. He plans to admit Lin to the same school to keep an eye on him. A few days later, Lin finally lands in China, but Lai is late to pick him up in front of the airport. On his way, he meets a colleague named An Ron. Lai has had a crush on her for a long time. He offers her a ride, but she declines and gets a taxi instead. The brief conversation makes him even later, causing an impatient Lin to come out of the airport on his own. At the same time, a newbie criminal named Lee is walking to her transit with a case of something valuable. She talks to her partner on the phone about the case. Apparently, it's the key to making them millionaires. Before she can reach the checkpoint, a thief snatches the case from her and runs away. A man distracts her, causing her to lose sight of the thief and the case. Outside, Lin is ready to get in a taxi when the same thief bumps into him. Lin, who always looks for a chance to be a superhero, doesn't miss the opportunity to follow him, sure of the fact that the case is stolen. Meanwhile, Lai arrives at the airport but finds his nephew missing. Worried, he shows Lin's picture to the passerby, but to no avail. In the meantime, Lin and the thief get into a chase. The thief cannot keep up with Lin's speed and has to stop. Initially, he tries to bribe Lin into giving up, but the kid asks for the case, not money. As a last resort, the thief steps forward to fight Lin, but is beaten up by the kid. Lin didn't just dream of being a superhero, he took several kung fu classes and trained to be one. Hence, he's very good at fighting and defending himself. He opens the case and finds a fluffy rabbit inside. Following that, he returns to the taxi driver and calls the police to inform them of a stolen rabbit. However, the policeman thinks the kid is joking and asks him to keep it as a pet. By now, Lai is also at the police station reporting his missing nephew. The police promise to find him as soon as possible. Said nephew is on his way to Lai's apartment in a taxi, having known the address. When Lai returns home at night, he hears a noise from inside his apartment. Thinking that an intruder has broken in, he enters through the window. But he comes across Lin, who kicks him in the face. A few minutes later, they're trying to stop Lai's nosebleed. It turns out that Lin lost his phone while fighting the thief earlier, but he doesn't tell his uncle about the encounter. Somewhere else, the newbie criminal, Li, and her partner, Cheng, are with their boss. They apologize for losing the case and promise to find it as soon as possible. Their boss is a gangster who promises to kill them both if he doesn't get the case back. The next day, Lai takes Lin to the school for the first time. His homeroom teacher is Lai's crush, Miss An. On their way, Lin sees a beautiful girl named Zena and is instantly smitten by her. He confidently approaches her to say hi, but Lai interrupts them. In the class, Lin introduces himself to his classmates as a superhero and promises to save them all. When he sits beside Xena, a bully makes fun of him, but is in turn challenged. The group of bullies gets up to teach Lin a lesson when their teacher is not present. Outside, An hears a loud bang and runs to the class. The students are all seated, but it's evident that Lin put the bullies in their places. After school, a group of senior boys approach Lin and ask him to bow down to their leader, who they call the Big Bro. Lin refuses to do so and instead challenges them to an official match of Kung Fu. Later, they gather in the Kung Fu Club and start the contest. At first, they show different skills and techniques individually, making the crowd cheer. Then the fight starts and Lin easily overpowers Big Bro. 
When he is shamefully defeated, a group of older boys comes to fight Lin. But to everyone's surprise, he manages to beat them as well. Big Bro and his team accept defeat and promise to make Lin their master if he's able to win against their gym teacher, Mr. Ma. Somewhere else, Lee and Cheng are looking for the rabbit. They find the thieves who stole the case and threaten them to return it. However, the man embarrassingly admits that he lost to a child who took the case away. He has Lin's phone with his pictures on it, which he shows to Lee. Now that the duo knows what he looks like, they start to search for Lin. Meanwhile, the egocentric gym teacher, Mr. Ma, sees Anne and Lai together and is driven with jealousy. He has also had a crush on Miss Anne and is determined to make her his girlfriend one way or the other. He calls the two to basketball practice and uses them as props to teach the kids. He throws the ball at Lai when he's not ready and hurts him deliberately. This goes on for a while until Lai gets a nosebleed. Lin notices his uncle being beaten up by Mr. Ma and promises to take revenge. During his lunch break, Lai is eating alone when An joins him. She's worried because he got hit several times. Just then, Lin approaches them and tells An that she should date his uncle in an attempt to know if she really likes him. A flustered Lai asks him to stop, but Lin forcefully makes them hold hands. Mr. Ma sees this and is enraged. He accuses Lai of making An feel uncomfortable by displaying unwanted affection in public. An embarrassed An runs away before Lai can apologize. During Mr. Ma's Taekwondo class, Lin challenges him to a match. Initially, Ma laughs it off, but upon realizing that the kid is serious, he takes on the challenge. He even binds his hand behind him to prove his talent. However, the overconfidence makes him lose embarrassingly to the kid. He unties his hands, but still cannot defeat him. The children cheer for Lin, much to Ma's annoyance. Even Lin's crush, Xena, is impressed. In the end, Ma accidentally punches the principal in the face while trying to attack Lin. Since An and Lai are responsible for the kid, they also have to take responsibility for his violent behavior while Ma is let free. After school, Xena gives Lin a band-aid for a cut on his palm. He shows her the rabbit and Xena borrows it for a few days, wanting to play with it. Then, a group of boys asks Lin to make them his disciples and teach them Kung Fu. Lin agrees and names their group the Kung Fu Boys. At the same time, Li and Cheng break into Lai's apartment to look for the case. They were never told about the contents of the case, except that it holds an animal. So, when they find an empty case and Lai's pet tortoise in the house, they take it to their boss. The boss is enraged when he doesn't get what he wants. He sends his fighter girls to attack Li and Cheng. They take Li hostage and order Cheng to bring the rabbit in turn for his partner's life. That night, Lai and Lin go to a restaurant and talk for a long time. Lai reveals that he's in love with An and was very sad when Ma insulted them during lunch break. The next day, we see Lin hand a challenge letter to Ma. The letter says that Ma and Lai have to compete against each other in front of An, so she can choose a partner for herself. Ma immediately agrees, seeing that An is involved. But when he goes to the location, he finds out that the kid lied about everything. Instead, Lin wants Ma to fight him and stay away from An if he loses. Ma refuses to accept the challenge, but Lin attacks him anyway. By the end of the fight, Ma's wig is taken off and his arm is broken. An stops the kid from hurting him further and finds the challenge letter. On reading it, she believes that the letter was sent by Lai and is furious at him for treating her like a prize. Lai, in turn, is mad at his nephew. He yells at Lin for ruining his relationship with An and asks him to go away. Lin takes it seriously and walks to An's house in the rain. Lai looks for the kid everywhere and is relieved when An calls and tells him that he's at her home. At the same time, Cheng is at Lai's apartment looking for the rabbit that he cannot find anywhere. Scared for Lee's life, he decides to meet Lin and asks him for the rabbit himself. The following day, Lai, Zena, and An are at the hospital to see Mr. Ma. While talking to the receptionist, Lin's eyes land on a newspaper in front of him. It has a picture of his pet rabbit, recognizable because of a mark between its eyes. The report reads that the rabbit is a rare species that is a medical miracle. 
If used for science, it can give birth to several medicines and save millions of lives. However, it was stolen by some criminals and is being searched for by the police. The children tell Miss Anne that they have the rabbit and make their way to Zena's home to get the animal. But then, they're approached by Cheng, begging for the rabbit because his partner's life is in danger. Before they can talk, Cheng's boss's henchmen abduct them all. Lin is left behind fighting two of the henchmen while the others are taken away to a hideout. A woman from the criminals group asks Lin to come to a location with a rabbit if he wants his friends alive. In the following scene, Lai and Lin are driving to the hideout. On the way, they buy a rabbit to trick the antagonists. When they reach the location, Lai decides to stay at the entrance and help them when they run outside while Lin goes in with the fake rabbit. He makes the crime boss untie his friends before handing him the case. By the time the boss notices that he's been lied to, the group starts to run. The henchmen pursue them, but Lin manages to fight them all. Still, An is eventually taken away and only Xena and Lin manage to escape. When Lai finds out An is absent, he asks the kids to run as far as possible and goes in to get her back. But the henchmen capture him within seconds. Outside, Lin asks Xena to call the police and returns to save Lai and Miss Anne. He finds them suspended midair by a rope. Seeing that his death is near, Lai confesses his feelings to Anne and she reciprocates. Lin rushes to save them, unaware that it's a trap set by the gang. They surround him from every side and ask him where the rabbit is. He fights the adults efficiently, but has to stop when their boss threatens to cut the rope that Lai and Anne are suspended from. He is seconds before cutting it when suddenly several explosions take place around the hideout. Seconds later, the Kung Fu boys and Mr. Ma come into their sight. The group has arrived to rescue them and save the day. An intense battle ensues between the crime boss and the kids while Mr. Ma fights the few henchmen left. In the end, the boss cuts the rope, letting Ann and Lai free fall to the ground. Right after, the kids attack with full force and defeat him. The police arrive and rescue everyone. It is revealed that Lai and Ann are stuck in a suspended pipeline that saved their lives. The school holds a program where Lai sings a song that he wrote for Ann who he is currently dating. But the highlight of the show is a performance by the Kung Fu Boys. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.